Hey guys, it's your girl Leah, and I'm back with another video. Always put Christ in the center. Center. Do you know he's in control? Little disclaimer before we start this video, the lighting is fluctuating right now. Weather is just like. I don't know what it's doing outside, but one time it's sunny, the other time it's all nuageur, how you say that, like Wendy and all that. So it's very not cute outside, and so the lighting in this video is gonna be affected. But I want to film today, and I'm not gonna miss this filming day because I want you guys to get started on this exciting video. So today we're talking about having a holly girl summer and how to get started on your journey into experiencing a holly girl summer. <laughs> What is a holy girl summer, Liani? Like, what about it, right? Well, there's this trend online where people want their summer to be a hot girl summer. But I decided to switch it up because we're not doing hot girl summers. We're not hooking up with a bunch of guys. But what we're doing is that we're spending time with the Lord. We're living it up. That's the main word of this series. It's about living up and glowing up and becoming better. Whether it's in our health, spiritual health, mental health, and every aspect of your life. You have your own goals and I have my own goals. But the main idea is that we need to be walking in holiness and to be more like Jesus. So part one of this video is what's a holy girl summer? I kind of visualize a holy girl summer being that our priority is Jesus, that our priority is spending time with God. I know not everyone is in vacation during the summer, but I do believe we have more free time whenever it's like sunny outside. And as a student myself, summer do mean that I have more free time and I'm able to allow at least one hour to the Lord every single day. So I believe a holy girl summer is based on going in the secret place more often and getting a revelation and our words and healing from the Lord so we can move forward and pour whatever fruit of the spirit that God is trying to teach us in the world. The foundation of Holy Girl Summer is being with God, is following the plan that God has for you in this season right now. I believe that the first day you're going to enter and be like, God, I'm going to have a Holy Girl Summer, but I'm going to need you. Maybe it's going to be one word that the Holy Spirit is going to whisper to you or a scripture, something for you to have a foundation on what God wants you to be doing in this season and for you to truly follow it all the way to the summer. So quiet times are going to be very important this summer so we can get nourished in our spirits. So why have a holy girl summer? I think it's gonna be very important for us to grow spiritually because summer also means a lot of distractions, you know, whether it be on social media or with your friendship, people trying to hang out with you and having all those activities going around. It's so easy to get trapped in distractions. Wanting to have so much fun this summer and like kind of forgetting about God. A holy girl summer is allowing us to set our intentions before actually entering the summertime and asking the Lord to be with us during this summer to make sure that we are growing and not staying stagnant in our faith, but to use Use this time, use this free time for us to learn more about God, to learn more about our purpose, to learn more about our character. It's easy to think that we're good, you know, we're holy, but no, there's always something more that God wants to refine in us. And sometimes that has to be a cry of our hearts to be like, God, I want you to show me what I'm doing wrong. I want you to show me what's still in my heart that I need to work on. I would recommend that everyone experience what's a holy girl summer. And if you actually ask God to be the center of it all, you're gonna see him move this summer. You're gonna see him do a glorious things in your life. So why have a holy girl summer? Hmm. Because you need it, okay? You need it spiritually, you need it mentally, you need it physically. So now that you're still watching this video and you wonder, okay, how do I get started? How do I get started on a holy girl summer? The next thing you need to be doing is taking a sheet of paper and actually writing down all of your triggers, bad habits that you want to let go this summer. So for me, it would be snoozing. A bad habit of yours is maybe that you pray in your bed and you know you're going to fall asleep. So you never have really good prayer sessions. All the bad habits that you think that you have, and it doesn't have to be spiritually. Maybe it's your eating habits. Maybe it's about your physical health. So if you're working out, if you're someone that is active, what is the way you talk about yourself, about about others so there's so many bad habits and triggers that we might want to fix this summer or a kind of a mindset and attitude that we don't want to bring this summer because we want the summer to be positive to be a way for God to work with us I would definitely take a time to just reflect on what are my triggers what are my bad habits and the things I want to change and I don't want to happen this summer that kind of brings us to part four, finding a focus goal, but not a typical focus goal, a feeling. You want to write an emotion that you want to be feeling this summer. Whatever feeling it is, uh, an actual feeling that you want to experience this summer in a state of mind and what will get you through this feeling and all the good things that you could be doing in order to feel this amazing feeling. And maybe it's fulfillment, maybe it's appreciation, maybe it's love, maybe all of those things. What can you do in order to get to this feeling this summer? 
have your focus goals part five will be to create a bucket list because there's so many fun things you could be doing this summer get on pinterest on tiktok next video i'm going to be sharing my bucket list it's not going to be a whole video about that you know what i'm saying but i would suggest for you guys if you're interested in a holy girl summer to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video because i will mention what i do i will vlog what i do this summer and hopefully i'll be posting it for you guys to have inspiration kind of like fun ways in order to spice up your summer and have fun so definitely write down a summer bucket list don't try to be unrealistic because you might feel bad if you're not accomplishing some of them it could be simple as just taking on a walk at 8 p.m when there's sunset that could be something you're looking for this summer i know i do i love sunsets just like taking on a walk or getting ice cream going on a beach to have bible study evangelizing to one person you know there's so many things you could be doing so just write them down in a bucket list Part six of how to get started on your holy girl summer is to journal on how you will feel after you've accomplished your goal. In part four, we mentioned how we wanted to find a focus goal and a feeling that we wanted to feel. So now it's time to journal about this. That way you're gonna be able to read again what you wrote and how you would feel if you actually accomplished those things that you wanted to do. So I encourage you to like journal about how will accomplishing your goals make you feel at the end of the summer. You have to visualize yourself actually accomplishing those things and write it in the present tense like I am feeling super happy i feel energized i feel spiritually elevated and throughout the summer it's going to be a really good guide for you to go back and read to not forget that your goal may be okay i want to see god move in this area of my life so this summer i'm going to be praying about that every single day or i'm going to be fasting about that and in the journal you can write i saw god move in this area make your desires known to the lord but also be ready to listen to be obedient to when he wants you to do something i think it could also be a good idea if we created a vision board for our goals so kind of visualizing our summer so instead of only having the written goals you can actually have pictures of them so this summer you can look through the pictures and it can motivate you vision boards are so easy to create you literally go on canvas put on some pictures and call it a day it's so easy i feel like having a, an actual physical copy of the things you want to accomplish and seeing it every day and you're being exposed to it motivates you to accomplish a vision i know this video is very short but it is only an introduction to the series the holy girl summer and i wanted to give you guys a little bit of tips on how you can get started on the holy summer and prepare because summer is around the corner and it is a time to work out eat good food spend time with the lord and enjoy friendships and all that so i hope it encourages you and inspires you to do something about your summer to plan out it doesn't have to be specifically like me but my three main goals are going to be to work on my prayer life to work on my physical health so you know working out pretty consistently and also explore my city so i want to go out and do fun things with people or by myself so if you want to join me in the holy girl summer definitely subscribe like this video if you enjoyed tell me down below what are the things you're gonna do for your holy girl summer what are your main goals because i definitely think it's gonna inspire me and all the people watching this video <laughs> the speaker was just on sorry guys so before i leave i have one scripture for you guys and it's proverbs 8 verse 32 to 36 it says now then my children listen to me bless are those who keep my way listen to my instructions and be wise do not disregard it bless are those who listen to me watching daily at my doors waiting at my doorway for those who find me will find life and receives favor from the lord but those who fail to find me arm themselves all who ate me love that my main takeaway is that god wants you in this season to prioritize him in this summer to seek his face to be at his door knocking and knocking and knocking to cry out to him for him to move in your life to be with you and to elevate you in your faith and elevate you in your prayer life and your meditation we are in a time where praying and meditating is so important and having fellowship with god just saying we're christian is not enough we're all guilty of not maybe prioritizing god in your life but you have to remember that god is always there even if we turn our face and we look around and we're not there we're not focused that you can always come back to be focused and ready to receive so god can pour in your life but make sure that you listen to his instruction because that's what makes you wise to be one of the blessed ones that are looking out for what god has to say what god wants to do in your life so i love you guys and i see you guys in my next video may god bless you peace